message just for them. You can go sit with these girls over here if you want. They don't bite too much. Good morning, ladies. Where's all the dudes, man? They're too scared to come up. They're all out there too scared. What are we gathering here to do today? Church. And what do we do when we're in church? We do crafting and stuff in Sunday school, but there's an overall thing we do here, and it starts with a W. We worship. That's what I'm looking for. How how is this gathering different from any other place or anything else thing you do during the week? I mean, there are some similarities, but you know what? You really got to stretch it. You we we go see movies, right? And we sit and we watch something. Now you're not watching a movie here, but you sit and watch and listen to me. But it's really not the same, is it? We go to birthday parties and sometimes we sing, but it's not the same as how we sit here and sing, is it? Or it shouldn't be. We go to dinners, we sit and eat. We have a meal here when we sit at the rail, but it's a far different meal than what you guys had Thanksgiving, isn't it? Why is this different from any other place that you go during the week and gather? We think about Jesus, we talk about Jesus. You're right on. But more important than that, he's here. We believe Jesus is truly present when we gather here. And he promises he's present. He promises he's present in the word that's preached, the word that you sing. When we have baptisms, he's promised he's, he's present in the water, truly present. And he's present at the Lord's Supper when we take and eat the bread and the wine. He promises when we come to worship, he's here in a way that's different from any other place that we are when we gather as his confessing church. So shouldn't there be some way that we communicate this as a special time? as a set-aside time? Is there any way you think that we do that? What helps you remember that this is a special set-aside time? Yes. I'll give you help. We have that up there on the wall. Do you see that anywhere else? Jesus hanging on a cross. It reminds us of what we do when we come to worship, where our focus is. But we have other things too. Look at what's hanging off the altar. Those are called pyramids. And they change from season to season. And these are different than the ones you saw last time you were here. And we're going to talk about what these mean next Sunday. But just keep in mind, this is all part of trying to communicate to us that this is a special set-aside time. The things that are hanging on the altar, the banners on either side, the banners on the walls, they all communicate things about Jesus that we should keep in mind as we worship. Even me, I don't walk around wearing this robe all the time, but I put it on for worship so to help emphasize the fact that this is special time. And I've been called to do a special job, which is to proclaim not my words, but Jesus' words. I think that's important to keep in mind. Anywhere else you go and anything else you do, you're probably, if you're sitting out there, you're going to be an observer. It's called passive. When you go to a movie, you don't normally talk and yell, do you? No, you're quiet. When you go to a concert, you listen. You might sing, but here you're involved. You do listen, but then you have work to do. You lift up praise and thanksgiving through your singing, through the liturgy that we speak, and also through the prayers that we do. And the most wonderful thing is Jesus promises to be present with you as you do that. 
And there certainly are times I walk in here, and even with all the things that are around here, I'm just, my heart is just not really ready to praise him as it should be. But the Holy Spirit comes and helps make us ready by emphasizing the wonderful gifts we have in Christ, that he gave his life for us, died and rose again, so that there'll come a day when we're with him in eternal life, and it'll be the most heavenly worship ever, because he will be standing in front of you, truly present to put his arms around you and look you in the eye and tell you how much he loves you. And he does that now through his word. Good, right, and salutary that we should pray to him and thank him. Let's do that now. When we pray, you can repeat after me. Dear Jesus, Jesus, thank you you. for giving us this time. time. Set aside aside. to honor you, to to worship you, and send our love to you, you. knowing that you you. bless us us. with wonderful gifts, gifts. salvation, Salvation. forgiveness of sins, sins. and eternal life. life. Keep us ever in your care. In Jesus' name, name. Amen. amen. Thank you girls for coming up. I hope that uh, as you walk in here at other times, you'll remember this is a set-aside and special time. A joyous time, but a special time. You can return to your seats. We'll talk more about some of these pyramids and decorations.